It was February 23rd of 1945, 74 years ago, when Marines raised the flag on Mount Suribachi. During the battle against the Japanese on the island of Iwo Jima in World War II, the flag raising became one of the most iconic photographs in history. Grand Forks native Charles Lindbergh was there. He passed away in 2007, but his daughter, Karen Lindbergh Davidson, who lives in Roseau, remembers him with iNews partner, the Tribune newspaper in Greenbush. Roseau resident Karen Lindbergh Davidson remembers how her father Charles loved watching westerns. In the middle of watching these westerns, he would allow Karen to put rollers in his hair, bandage up his arms, and play hospital. Never losing his patience, this memory brought some laughter from Davidson. He was awesome. He was a great dad, Davidson said. During his time at Iwo Jima, uh, Lindbergh would uh, participate in a historic occasion, raising the first U.S. flag atop uh, Iwo Jima's Mount Suribachi at 10.30 a.m. on February 23, 1945. The first flag raising was not the one captured by photographer Joe Rosenthal and memorialized in statue form at the U.S. Marine Corps War Memorial. That was the second flag raising. The first flag raising captured by photographer Lou Lowry may not be the one people remember and recognize today, but Lindbergh took much pride in it and remained connected with the five men he shared this moment with. He didn't share much about the specifics of his time at Iwo Jima when there wasn't reason to, uh, Davidson explained, but when he did talk about it, one memory stood out the most. After the flag went up, when the ship started, the horns all went out uh, on the bay and people were cheering, Davidson said. It still gave him chills after all this time. He'd talk about it and would actually get choked up. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for PageOnePublications.com.